Good evening all, I hope you are staying safe and like I mentioned last time looking after yourselves, your family members and your loved ones and I also hope that you are enjoying the profits. Now we are seven to 800 pips in profit and this is a very short video of how we caught the short from the 9,700 and $9,800 region. Before I get into that, I do just want to break down how we caught the long prior to that. Now we did catch the long from around this region here and if you do remember saying it's all in the discord if the daily closes above our $8,450 to $8,500 region I do see some upside potential and the reason for that is because I wanted the daily to respect our daily key level. I'd already seen the 4 hour respect it but I'd, I would have loved to see the daily respect it too which actually did come through. Now another reason for that was there was a counter trend line that was forming and it was one that we'd actually hit to the T a couple of times so it told me that it was pretty pretty valid it had a T confirmation there another T confirmation here and two T confirmations here so it told me that it was pretty valid to be honest now we came back down closed above our counter trend line closed above our daily key level and that told me that there was more upside potential the last thing was that there was a Fibonacci forming the highs on the 7th of May were the lows on the 10th of May and as you can see I have mentioned before as well in my previous video that if your Fibonacci C levels aligns with key levels okay whether that's a 4 hourly one or an hour hourly one that should tell you that your Fibonacci is pretty valid and our 78.6 actually aligns with our weekly key level and funnily enough our 61.8 aligns with a 4 hourly key level and if I just draw it out for you here you should see it a little bit better so if I just zoom in we had 78.6 up here 61.8 aligning with a 4 4 hourly key level which, tell, which tells me that the Fibonacci is pretty valid we had our counter trend line being tested and respected and we had our daily key level being tested and respected so there was quite a few confirmations there quite a few confluences as you can see that told me there is more upside movement to come now how we call the short the short again once again is we missed the initial short from here we went back up to here I think we must have even missed this movement here from the 9,900s to the $9,100 region I definitely did if I remember correctly but I'm sure some of you in the discord probably caught it now we actually entered around here and there was a few things telling me that this is the time to go short so Personally for me, just to go back to this Fibonacci here, this Fibonacci is no longer in play and the reason for that is because we absolutely blew through the $9,600 region which tells me that it was fulfilled but it wasn't respected and due to it not being respected, I'd say that this Fibonacci is no longer in play. So, we went back down here, went back up here and I said, yep, yeah, cool, we've got, we're at a weekly key level and as we know this is also a psychological key level so we know that it's a pretty pretty strong one if i also go back out to the monthly time frame and i know i've banged on and on about this trend line for quite a bit of time now but it's only because it's so valid and because it plays such a large part on whether we transition from a bear market to a bull market and if we do go back to the four hourly you can see how valid it was you know we've got wicks hitting it to the T and we've also got candle bodies hitting it to the T which tells me once again that we're probably not going to break through it we probably are going to see some further downside movement and that has been the case so if I just get rid of this that was the initial that was my two confluence behind it we've got a strong key level it's also a psychological key level and we've got the monthly trend line which as we know is the strongest trend line that we can plot on this graph at this moment in time i don't think there is a stronger trend line i know that we all, i know that a lot of us have been seeing this trend line here on the four hourly if i just draw it out for all of us just quickly 
um, I think it's around from here and it goes to about here now we have hit it once have hit it twice three times four five and six you probably say that hasn't touched it it hasn't you're right but that I'd still count that as a hit that's a hit to the T that is still a bounce off our trend line it just hasn't hit it to the T now you will see further you will see further updates of that too but you can see that we've come down very close to it now um, or sorry not further updates but you'll see further examples as I make more videos of where I draw trend lines and we haven't hit it to the T but I still consider it as we respect to the trend line because we've, we've gone very close to it we're very very near it and I, I personally consider it as you know it has respect to the trend line because it, Bitcoin just loves to play tricks and, and that's literally why because a lot of people probably want to enter at the sniper sniper entries but this to me is also you know top of our top of our weekly key level so it tells me that that has been respected and the weekly key level has been respected as well so we can look for further upside movement and another reason is why I keep these grid lines on here as well because Bitcoin loves going to round numbers and again as you can see here that is just a grid line there so it's gone straight to that round number hasn't gone down to the trend line but if that trend line was probably a little higher around there it would have most likely hit it to the T so and here see we we've gone just about to that grid line haven't hit it why because our trend line is just there so look out for round numbers as well Bitcoin loves round numbers I think that is pretty straightforward nothing I really need to bang on and on about now I know when I drew the monthly time monthly trend line here we had hit it a few times but the monthly trend line is a lot lot more powerful than the four hourly trend line that we have drawn here and as you know the more we hit a weekly key level the more we hit a trend line or not even a weekly key level the more we hit a key level and the more we hit a trend line the weaker that trend line gets and the weaker that trend line gets the easier it is for us to break through it and we've hit this four hourly trend line now on many many occasions so it's something that I'd be expecting us to break through come soon a few other reasons why I didn't want to move my stops to break even too early because I had a feeling they could be hit and the reason for that is because I saw two trend lines forming the first was here well this wasn't the first actually this was the second this was the second trend line but the first one was actually around here and they're very very close but they actually played a really big part in the wick fishing and the reason for that is because as you can see with respect to this trend line hit it once twice three times four times again we've closed above it closed above it here and hit it to the T there so that's about six to seven confirmations that tells me that this trend line is valid and once we've broken through it we've gone back up to wickfish but the candle body has closed just below which tells me that we're on track that hasn't really invalidated invalidated my bias now we've gone back down to the weekly key level gone back up to the trend line and again hit it to the t so the, these were all done while i was sleeping again i think this was hit when was this 8 a.m i was probably sleeping at 8 a.m and this was at 4 a.m in the morning uk time so it, it, i was definitely sleeping then too so you know i these weren't things that i was really looking out for but even if i was awake it wouldn't be something that i'd be worried about and this is why i say stay patient because patience is really really important in this game if you don't have patience then you are probably weak-minded i'm sorry if that hurts your feelings but if you are weak-minded then you are probably going to doubt your trade and if you do doubt your trade you're probably going to fall for the game that the market loves to play and that's just to play with your emotions that just wants to change your bias and just make sure that it can liquidate you and get your money me i knew i'd set my stop loss at a nice area and if i did and if it did get hit oh well i was only using one to three percent risk and i knew that it was a calculated risk now we didn't break above this trend line and funnily enough as soon as we hit this trend line on one two three four five different times we actually broke through it coming down here we do have a three pin pattern forming 
however we are below our daily key level i do suspect that we'll probably within this four hour candle which also aligns with when our daily key level closes we will probably go up this four hour candle will probably be green it will probably take us up to our daily key level which will mean that if i just go to the daily time frame which will mean that a daily and just get rid of these trend lines for now which will mean that our daily will probably close around this region here and if it does close around this region here then we then we will probably look for a little bit of upside movement and funnily enough if we do do this here we can see that our 61.8 aligns perfectly with our four hourly key level now if i just come back here and i just draw this again this this key level here this four hourly one was shared in the discord so you, again you can see that it's valid this is part of the weekly this is part of the weekly um the weekly key level and this is and this is a four hourly key level so this fibonacci should be pretty valid we could probably see some weak fish in the daily candle tomorrow or the day after up here but then i do expect us to head down towards our D Fibonacci, the $8,500 region, which would be where I'd like to take my first profits. However, feel free to take some profits here. We have caught a seven to 800 pip move, which brings us further into the positive this month. If I just go to the trading journal here, we are about 1,000-ish pips. If you call it 600, then we're about 800 pips. If you call the month, the full move, within the last one and we've got the 210 pips from before it was it was um shadowed by the minus 260 pips the loss that i made that we made when we were trying to catch the short too early towards the 8100 dollars region however we are in the positive overall this month and with this current trade that brings us back up towards to 2000 the 2000 pip region and i think the month before we caught how many 1760 pips so all in all that is 4000 ish pips over the last two months so i hope you guys are enjoying all the profit and this is why not over leveraging this is why staying patient this is why being clear and concise with your charts and also why just not over trading and just you know just trading as maybe less as possible is really really important because not only do you minimize the amount of chances that you can lose but you also increase the chances you can win because you're looking for those optimal entries you're looking for those optimal trades so do stay patient if you do remember i did share an update in the discord and it sh and in the discord it was in the spiritual journey chat and when i say an update it was a video sorry and it was about Dr. David Paul and the trading psychology. Someone actually shared it in the in in the Discord, and I had a watch, and I found and I found it really really useful. So I definitely advise for you to have a watch too because it talks a lot about the psychology. So definitely do give that a watch. I hope you've enjoyed this market update. I will keep it short. This is about 14 15 minutes long, and I hope you have picked up a few things or two. Take care, everybody. Until next time.